hello 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 welcome back to my channel it is Taj aka Mataj Massage and this is Mataj Midas Living uh, so this is kind of like a haul video so I guess it's going to be kind of similar to the sustainable sustainable the sustainable products that I use video except this one is going to be all the kind of holistic health things that I've bought recently so basically here in the UK it is coming up to winter winter is upon us winter is coming and with this new c word well not so new anymore that is going around the world and with me being all about holistic health and taking natural steps to look after my health in different ways where it comes to mind body spirit all of that stuff so i've bought up i've bought some bits and bobs recently probably in the last week or so and i collected some parcels that are at my mum's and i went shopping the other day and picked up some bits and bobs as well so it's not fully holistic health stuff but it is holistic stuff because it is things for my mind things for my body things for my spirit skincare bits and bobs and all of that jazz so i thought i might as well just share some of the bits and bobs that i bought with you guys but before we get into it if we vibe join the tribe make sure you like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe so you're notified of all my videos and click notify all so that you are actually notified of every single one of my new videos that i upload Okay, so let's get into it. So before I even decided doing this video, when I saw all the stuff that I'd kind of accumulated in, in the last couple of weeks, and I'm like trying to rush and get my words out, I was looking at it all on the table and I messaged my sister and I was like, should I do like a holistic haul video for YouTube? What do you reckon? Because I was like, I bought all these new things. And I was like, I was just about to put them away, but should I do it? She was like, yeah, content, do it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So here I am. So the first things I want to kind of go through with you are the, I guess, skincare, skincare slash self-care stuff that I bought. So these two are essentials that I've been using for a couple of years now, and that is jojoba oil and rosehip oil. So I use these on my face daily. I use the rosehip oil, oil, <laughs> I sound Jamaican. Well, I am, but but not because I'm British as well. <laughs> I haven't got a Jamaican accent. But yeah, this is the rosehip oil. I use this in the mornings after I've like done my, um, washed my face and stuff, had my shower and that. Then I'll put this on my face first, unless I'm putting on hyaluronic acid before that, then I'll put that on. Then put this on, then put my like, not body butter, well actually yeah it is body butter, but you can use it on your face as well, that I make myself, I put that on over the top, and some people might think, oh that sounds a bit heavy, like why are you putting so much oily products on your skin, but I've noticed that I used to always have oily skin, especially in my T-zone, so I have combination skin, so what I used to do is not put any cream on my oily areas and think, oh yeah, this is definitely going to help stop it from getting oily, but what happens is, because that area is then dry, your skin then produces more sebum, which is the oil that comes out onto your skin. And then you end up being more oily than you was in the first place. And what I've noticed now is, the more I moisturize my face, the less oily and shiny that I get. So for example, doing a full face of makeup when I used to not put moisturizer in this area, I would get super, super shiny by the end of the night and I used to always have to keep dabbing and it was just really irritating but since I switched to over moisturizing my face well it's not even over moisturizing it I'm actually just putting more moisturizer on it as a whole I've noticed that when I do put my makeup on on top then it's all good and for most of the night I'm not actually shiny which is amazing for me so this is literally just rosehip oil and nothing else I'm pretty sure of it yeah, 100% pure organic rosehip oil. And some of the things that it is good for is it hydrates the skin, it can treat acne, it reduces wrinkle, and obviously it's chemical free because it's completely natural. One thing I have noticed since using this, so I say I've been using it for maybe two or so years now. Yeah, about two or so years I've been using it now. 
And I've noticed that a lot of my acne scars, obviously they're still there, but compared to how they used to be, my skin has gotten so much better, like so much better. I don't really get as many breakouts as I used to. I used to get a lot of breakouts. My skin is pretty consistent, even when I'm horm hormonal, my um, skin is pretty consistent throughout the whole of the month now, which is great. Uh, the next thing is the jojoba oil. So this one I put on my face at night time. So when I've cleansed my face before going to bed, I'll put this on my face, but not with anything else, just on its own. And something I learned about this oil was actually when I did my massage course and it mimics the um, feel and texture of what our skin produces, which is sebum. So when you use this on your skin, your skin doesn't recognize it as like a foreign oil and it doesn't cause you to you're less likely to have a breakout because it is the consistency of what your skin naturally produces this is also really good for um aging skin as well it keeps your skin like younger to a degree but naturally so this says what does it say it's for it doesn't even say on here how annoying is that it just says it's on here it says it's for dry skin but that's a bit annoying because I wanted to tell you some of the things it said on here. But to be fair, I just mentioned some of the things that it's for. So it's good for um, skin that's aging. It's good if you are prone to getting breakouts if you put oils and stuff on your skin because it mimics what your skin already creates. So in that sense, if you moisturise with that, your skin's not going to react and produce more oil or less oil. It will keep your skin in balance. So that's jojoba oil. I use this every day, as I mentioned before, but I use it at night time. I think this has vitamin E in it as well. Let me check. So it contains vitamins and minerals essential for healthy skin and hair, including vitamin E, B complex, and it's also fast absorbing. The next skincare bits. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below of where I get those from. I think those are from Amazon anyways. The next bits and bobs I've got are from Primark. As is this tracksuit, actually. So I've got matching bottoms on. I went in there the other day when I was getting the skincare stuff. And I saw a few tracksuits in them. And I love a tracksuit. And I really liked the colour of this one. And it's got like a little heart on the sleeve as well, which is cute. So yeah, let's go through the Primark bits. So these are skincare and kind of self-care bits and bobs. So the skincare things I've got are their facial cleansers. Every time I go in there, it's so hard to find this one because it always seems to be out of stock when I go. I've got two of them, by the way, because if I go back again and they're not there, I'd be fuming. But yeah, um... I've used this in the past and it's, I really like it. It's really good on my skin. Um, but when I can't get this one, I get the grapefruit one, I believe I've used as well, which is pretty good. And another one of their um, skin cleansers that I really like as well. It's in a bottle with a pump on it and it's like a pH balancing one. And I think it's got salicylic acid in it, which works as a exfoliator, but it's a gentle exfoliator. I've been using that on and off for about two or so years as well and then if I'm not using that I'll be using this one and they've been really good for my skin so this one is their vitamin c energizing jelly cleanser and it says with natural exfoliants glow revealing polish and it's vegan friendly so this is for like dull and tired skin and as I mentioned we are heading into that winter season and my skin starts to get pale in the winter and it kind of starts to drain. At the moment, I've still got a tan. Thank God. I'll show you actually. I've got a tan line on my wrist from some, the little bit of summer that we did have. So yeah, that's my tan line on my wrist. So as the months get colder and colder, my skin's gonna slowly return to that. And I just feel like I look quite drained and it makes the undertone of my skin look quite yellow which makes it look which is why I look more drained whereas in the summer my undertone is more red and it to me it's more healthy 
so yeah hopefully that will help with brightening my skin and maintaining it more i've not used it in the winter before so it'll be good to see and as well as that i've not used these before but they've got vitamin c brightening serum which i thought well i do like their vitamin c range so there's no harm in trying this so it says brightening serum concentrated vitamin c radiance enhancing vegan friendly so i was like oh let's give this a try so it says it's got pink grapefruit extract and concentrated vitamin c to help actively brighten and improve the skin's texture i'm all for that so yeah more skincare goodies the next things i got are kind of not skincare but self-care stuff so i just bought some what are these called again bath bombs that's the one so i got a few bath bombs from primark i literally saw these when i was in the queue and i was like oh these are cute and once in a while i do like to have a bath i like to set up like a whole goddess bath thing so i normally shower all the time over having baths but when i do have a bath it's like a treat for me so i'll put bubble bath in epsom salt uh, or whatever whatever detoxing thing i'm using sometimes i use that sometimes i use is it the aztec clay i can't remember the name of it but i use that as like a detoxifying face mask as well sometimes but sometimes i like to put it in my bath and it draws out all the toxins and stuff and something else I've started doing as well when I have these baths is sprinkle dried rose petals in and I've got this um anointing oil it's just oil that I've like prayed over and stuff and I sometimes put that in the bath as well and then you, when you come out like your skin's already moisturized because you had the nice oil on your body and oh it just feels so good and I like some candles and all of that stuff so when I have a bath I go all out because i rarely do it and sometimes i use bath bombs as well and that was a roundabout way of getting back to the bath bombs so yeah there was this one i bought which is a pineapple it smells quite nice i don't know what flavor it is probably pineapple but oh it says it just says citrus okay cool then this one does it say what it is oh this one's sweet orange it's like gold purple an orange at the bottom then this one oh another citrus one so this one's like turquoisey color and then on the front it's got three four how many circles is that five so i couldn't see on the screen five circles on it but they're kind of like glittery blue and then the last one i got is what flavor is this one Oh, this one's berry and this one's gold all over and then it's kind of got blue sparkles on the front which i thought was quite pretty too so i'm looking forward to using those and the last kind of self-care thing i got were these shower steamers which are basically like um the bath bombs but for your shower so it releases everything in the steam so i didn't even know what it was i just bought it out of curiosity because i was being nosy i was just like oh what's this but i think you can use them as bath bombs as well but i did try one of them in the shower and the bathroom smelled amazing i can't lie so you basically break it in half and you only use one half at a time you just put it under the running water in the shower then you put it on the floor and I have your shower cubicle or your bath and you just have your shower and like all the essential oils and stuff that are in it kind of come up into the room and then when I was having a little look on YouTube of how to use it and people were showing videos of where they make their own and stuff and they put things like eucalyptus and stuff in it so it can help to detox and help with your breathing and stuff like that which i thought was a really good idea actually especially with like things like eucalyptus and tea tree oil and that kind of stuff so that's all the skincare and self-care stuff although all of this is kind of to do with self-care but the next things i want to go into are the i guess holistic health products that i got so these first things i'm going to show you from this section are all from holland and barrett so i got some vitamin d spray again 
winter is here pretty much and that means way less sunshine it means waking up and it's dark it means coming home from work and it's dark and it just means complete darkness and I can't lie I struggle in the winter so last year I bought myself a Himalayan salt lamp to help with some of that because I'm pretty sure even though it's undiagnosed but I know my mood changes in the winter so I'm pretty sure I show signs of seasonal affective disorder and obviously I'm melanated I need the sun hence vitamin d spray so I tried some today this peppermint flavor it tastes really nice and um you literally just shake it up spray once on the inside of your mouth like on your cheek leave it for a few seconds and then just get on with it I think I probably left it for like a minute the same way I do my CBD oil when I put it under my tongue I leave it for a minute before I swallow it so I'm gonna see how I go I've heard that the spray is a lot better than the tablets I've not tried the tablets either but I've heard this is good and I want to be able to maintain my more uplifted mood throughout the winter months so I reckon this will help because a few people have recommended this to me so shout out you guys and then the next things I got from Holland and Barrett are hair gummy vitamins and I have said in previous videos that my hair does grow pretty quickly which it does but I don't take any supplements for my hair whatsoever and I thought do you know what let me start doing this especially in the winter because it's harder to maintain the length of your hair in the winter especially if you don't look after the ends because they get dry and crispy and ugh. Um, I'm going to try and actually actively do more productive styles this winter but I thought why not use these as well to help they've got biotin in which is good for hair growth I've taken biotin in the past and I did definitely notice a difference I can't remember if I showed this properly so I'll just bring it up here again but yeah so what this has in it the ingredients are or should I say the active ingredients biotin selenium zinc b12 and collagen and it's a food supplement for healthy hair what else does it say is there anything else I need to share with you it just says biotin selenium and zinc contribute to the maintenance of normal hair and I've also read around the subject of collagen being really good for um strengthening your hair and things like that as well so with all of those in there we'll see how we go so I've got a two month supply so I guess I'll see if I notice a difference in how my hair feels on this journey I've already opened these and tried these I think yesterday I had it the first time yeah they taste really nice as well are they vegan I think it is vegan even though it's not labeled as vegan it hasn't got anything like gelatin in it. Not that it says, so I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't have anything like gelatin in it. So I'm assuming that they're vegan. And if they're not vegan, they're definitely vegetarian. Okay, so the last, actually no, it's not the last lot of stuff. We've got two more things. Lots of things. So again, more holistic health stuff in regards to boosting my immunity and stuff and maintaining balance and mood I got some bits from the reserve I've wanted to buy stuff from them for the longest time but just I think at the time I wasn't running out of a lot of the products that I already had and things that I wanted on there and I was like oh, can't justify buying more sea moss when I've already got sea moss and things like that or I've got ashwagandha why do I need to get more ashwagandha I've got a whole big bag of it but now that they're starting to run out a little bit I thought do you know what treat myself to some stuff from here and funnily enough the day that I ordered these bits I was on maybe like boohoo or one of those sites I can't remember which one and I was looking at clothes and stuff and I was going to treat myself even though I don't go anywhere and then I was like, why are you going to spend your money on stuff that you really don't need? And I was like, you know what? Let me go on the reserve and see what bits they've got. And I just watched a video on YouTube. It was Earth Mama Medicine. And she, I think her video was sponsored by them. 
and lo and behold there was a 50% off discount <laughs> so I was like yay I was like I'm meant to buy this stuff off the reserve then so let's get this stuff so the thing that I ordered was like um what was it called it was like um not like a starter pack but like a bundle pack that's the one because I didn't know what stuff I wanted to get and I was like oh. so I think this one was the immunity bundle or something like that and it included ashwagandha a product called beauty bomb blue spirulina elderberry lion's mane maca and vanilla matcha so i'm just going to go through all the bits and bobs that i bought from here i'm actually really excited to use these and basically the reserve is a company where they create all these bits and bobs i believe they have their own farm everything is um usa organic certified all their products are vegan i believe non-gmo gluten-free all of that good stuff so the organic elderberry is the first product that i've got and it's an adaptogen so it helps to balance mood increases energy fight stress, major cold and flu relief, and eases allergies. And this has got 30 servings in it. So this is gonna come in handy um, in the winter. All these bits and bobs I can put in like my smoothies and stuff that I make and add it with my protein and all of that good stuff. The next thing in here is maca, which is a root, but obviously these are all powders by the way. So another adaptogen, and it says a plant-based superfood powder. This again balances mood, increases energy, fights stress, rich in antioxidants and nutrients, and it is an endurance booster. This one will be very good to use as like a pre-workout for the gym, but a natural pre-workout. The next one is ashwagandha. So I've been using this for a couple of years anyways, not from this brand, but um, I have a massive bag of it, which is coming to the end and I put it in my smoothies that I have anyways. So again, this is another adaptogen. It balances mood, increases energy, fights stress, helps reduce blood sugar levels and helps increase mus muscular, it doesn't say muscular, muscle strength. So again, that's ashwagandha. Something else I believe ashwagandha is good for is helping with balancing the nervous system. I'm pretty sure that's something else that it's good for too. The next one is lion's mane, which is a mushroom. I actually want to get this mushroom in its full mushroom form because it's meant to be really good as a meat replacement for like for vegans basically or if you want to make a meat dish but not use meat or like switching up your diet. So I actually need to look and see where I can get this um, mushroom from. But this one is another adaptogen. It balances mood, increases energy, fights stress, improves gut, heart and brain health, and it has strong immune boosting abilities. This one though, this one is definitely gonna get rinsed. Um, and the last, packet one is the organic blue spirulina i've not tried blue spirulina before only the green one so it'll be interesting to see what color it makes my smoothies and stuff again this is 30 servings in here and this is a form of algae so this one it says 100 percent natural vibrant blue color may help with memory and gut health Powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. And all the times I have used spirulina, I have noticed my energy increase and things like that. So you can't really go wrong with that. And the Beauty Bomb. So this is another powder, but it's a mixture of powders. So say, for example, you bought all these separate packages, but you didn't know which ones went well for certain things. And you're like, oh, I want ones that are good for my hair. And you're looking through all the different ones. And like, okay, that one's good for hair. And you're looking, that one's good for hair. But with this, you don't have to look for it. It's literally just there and done for you. So this one contains maca, blueberry powder, and collagen. 
and it says a delicious blend to support skin hair and nails health and it's even got a description of all the different powders that it's got in it so it says maca balances hormonal levels thus preventing hair loss and supporting skin health excuse the sirens all right and we're back um also enhances energy mood and memory blueberry powder packed with antioxidants that shield the skin against harmful free radicals also a nutrient dense food especially high in fiber which can help with weight loss and then marine collagen the most abundant protein in the body that helps maintain the strength and flexibility of skin ligaments joints bones muscles tendons blood vessels gums eyes nails and hair i knew collagen was good for the hair i knew i saw it somewhere so yeah another product from the reserve and the last product that i got in here was just some matcha which is a natural green tea but i got their vanilla flavor these are so nice with like oat milk and you whisk it up and make it all frothy really really tasty and then just to make it sweet you can add whatever sugar you prefer or if you want to use like maple syrup or honey or um what i like to use now is coconut sugar so yeah made with japanese ceremonial matcha and then again gluten-free non-gmo but um yeah it's a natural green tea so much better than having something like a coffee for example although i'm a massive tea drinker like a massive tea drinker it was probably worse when i worked in an office so now that i'm at home or out running my business i don't drink as much tea as i used to so i've definitely cut back but i'm a massive tea drinker but i'm looking forward to using all these products and the last product or the last thing i bought in this haul it's not exactly healthcare. it's not exactly self-care but it is holistic because it's something that's helping me in my overall health so it is technically part of the holistic haul but basically i bought i ordered a notebook the other week from a small business on instagram and i always like her products we've been following each other for quite a while we always like each other's stuff and then funnily enough maybe like a month or so ago i was walking to my car from the gym and someone stopped me in the street and they were like, oh, you don't recognize me, do you? And I was like, I'm really sorry, I, I don't. And I felt so bad. So I'm thinking, oh, I bet I'm meant to know this person. They know me, but I don't know them. And then she said my Instagram name and I went, oh, OK. And then she said what hers was. And I was like, oh, my gosh. She's like, we always comment on each other's stuff, but we never met face to face, which is weird. And we both live in the same borough and everything. But. I've always wanted to buy one of her products, but it's never been something, I've always liked her products and they are amazing, but there's never been one where I'm like, I have to buy that one. It was like, I could buy that one, but it's not like I have to buy that one. And then this particular one, I opened up Instagram, I was like, I'm ordering that today. And her stuff is amazing. I think she's, I believe she's called Marvelous Works. I'll put, yeah, it's Marvelous Works. So that's her branding. Her stuff's amazing, but this is the notebook. And it says, minding my business and making my money. And then it's got the Bible reference for that, which is 1 Thessalonians 4.11. So basically all her goodies that she sells are all based on, so basically they're um, Christian pieces with like scripture and stuff on it. But they're so cool as well. And I was like, I have to get this. So in my head, I thought I was just ordering the notebook and the pen, but it gets better. I got even more stuff. Like, you know when you're overwhelmed and you're like, oh my gosh, all this is included. This is amazing. I can't remember how much I spent, but I'm glad I bought it. And then the pen has a reference of the Bible passage on it. So this is what I bought. But then this is all the extra bits and bobs that I got as well. So I got some really cute badges. One of them says, living my blessed life, which is so cute. Then the next one says, I am beautiful. 
and then this one says blessed i was just like these are so cute i love little extra touches like this like it just makes it so much more personal and then a key ring that says royal and then on the back it's got the um bible passage reference which is first peter 2 9 then i got an extra pen that's got her branding on it marvelous works and then it says psalms 139 verse 14 and then i got these like prayer cards i'm not going to read the prayers but i'm going to read the front of them and show you so this one says she realized she was the daughter of the king and the whole game changed and then on the back it's got a bible passage on it which is so cute then the next one is a really pretty image and then this has got um psalms 23 on it so the lord is my shepherd one of my favorite bible passages especially when i feel like lost and then this one has a heart with it. And then God, the word God is in the middle and it says on the outside, love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, self-control, which are, I've just realized, aren't these the fruits of the spirit? And then on the back, it's got a Bible passage on it. But I just thought that was so cute. I just want to show you the notebook again. That's so pretty. And this is how I like to live my life. So I'm going to actually use this as part of my business when I'm making notes and stuff. Because I always tell people, just mind your business. Like, I don't like getting involved in other people's, like, lives or business and stuff. Obviously, if they want to tell me, then feel free and tell me. But most of the time, I keep myself to myself and just mind my business and drink my water and most of the time it brings about a peaceful life so when i saw that i was like yep i need that in my life so those are all the um bits and bobs i bought so that was like my holistic health haul because it's all different things that are going to help with my mind body and spirit overall help with my immunity um boosting help with my mood help with my business and i'm looking forward to using all these different products i hope you have found them useful i will make sure i put a link in the description for every website where i've ordered all these bits and bobs from so that you can have a look and purchase if you want to uh, i think that's it yeah so i will see you in the next video thank you for watching if we vibe join the tribe don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of when i have new content click notify all so that you're notified of each and every one of my videos as and when they come out love you guys imagine i completely forgot to share with you guys one last thing that came with the notebook and stuff that i got from marvelous works i'm such an idiot and it was the bit that i got most excited about when i originally opened it in the first place and it's a little personal note it's honestly the cutest thing so this is on the back of it with all the branding and stuff but then it says dear Taja, the one who blesses others abundantly sorry the one who blesses others is abundantly blessed those who help others are helped proverbs 11:25. And then it says, thank you for your support. Love, Melissa. And I'm just like, things like this are so important, honestly. It really is the little touches. And that's part of why I try and go out of my way to support smaller businesses as well, especially because I'm a small business owner myself. And you know that when you're spending money on a smaller business, you know that the money that you're spending is literally going to be directly helping either the person you've bought from, or their family, their children, those kind of things there. So I just wanted to touch in and say that very quickly. And I'm gone for real now because that is all the stuff that I needed to share. Love yous.